Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we will solve one more huge good question that is called jumping, which is the question number 55. It comes under medium. Okay, so let's understand that question first. So here the question is saying you are given with an integer array of nums. Okay, you are initially positioned at the array first index, I think which is zero, and each element in the array represent your maximum jump length at that position. Okay so this is our nums this is the nums array and uh, so what it is saying the array represents the maximum jump at that position so if it two so two is the number over here so this means we can make at most two jump so we can make either one or two so in this case either we can make one two or three okay either we can jump to one either we can jump to two or either we can jump to three so this is the maximum jump length okay now what it is asking for it return true if you can reach the last index or false otherwise so if you can reach by step y to the last index then you should return true else false let's understand the example wise so 23114 is written true i'll jump one step from index 0 to 1 so it is uh, saying 0 to 1 okay we, will, we are taking one step from 0 to 1 now three steps to the last index so we'll take we have three step and we can take three steps so we will end in the last stage right so this returns true now the second example uh, so here it is 3 to 1 0 4 it should return false why we will always arrive at index 3 no matter what so here it is saying whatever steps you take whether it is 3 2 or 1 we will always end up over here okay its maximum jump length is zero so the maximum length is zero you can jump which makes it impossible to reach the last index so you can never reach the last index that's why it is false okay now let's look at the constraint so constraint is so uh, the nums length will be uh, always uh, greater than one and less than 10 to the power 4 so we no need to check for length uh, whether it is null or empty array so these, these type of checks you no need to apply in our code that is a good thing now none of i can be any like we have said uh, like c uh, 0 1 2. so it's always positive number it is 0 to 10 to the power 5 okay that's a good question uh, let's solve it uh, before I saw this, I wanted to make you understand how we are going to this algorithm. Okay, so let's understand that in the whiteboard. Let's understand this question from the one example. It's 2, 3, 1, 1, and 4. This is our nums of i. Okay, and these are the indexes 0, 1, 2, 4. Okay, now so. So, uh, since these are the steps, right, when we are at index 0, so either we can take one step or the two step, right? So, our maximum is two steps, so we either we can take n or two, right? But how do we decide which step we should take? So, how do we decide that? So, what we will use here, we will use here the concept of boundary, okay? So, in this, like, it's, the boundary is just a variable which I'm talking about, like how long you can make the maximum jump. Right. Suppose in, uh, in the example, suppose instead of three, I over, I have over here instead of one, if I have nine. So it will be a bad thing. Like we can have only one jump or two jump. So it will be bad if I'll end up in three and not in one. Right. But how do we decide like I should go for three or nine because we don't know the next step what will be. Right. So if I jump over here, so it will be three. And from here, either I can one, two or three. So I don't know that, right? If what if I'll take the two step and I'll miss my ninth step? If I would have used from here, from second position, directly to nine, and from nine I can go just beyond my, like beyond the length of it, and I like I've crossed it, right? So how do we decide my previous one is bigger or the next one is will be bigger? So this is our mean dilemma, right? So what we can do? So we can take a variable called boundary. So in each and every step, we will count our boundary. You can take it as a, like a global maximum and local maximum, right? So if my global maximum is uh, like lesser than my local maximum, we will update the global. 
concept right we'll take we'll use this concept so let's consider i'm making like my boundary is zero like i cannot take it like i cannot my boundary cannot be lesser than zero we can i cannot go there right so my boundary will be zero so what we can do we can take maximum of my current boundary or how do you decide my, what will be my next boundary so wherever i am standing so i can stand from there that is ith position plus so what will be the maximum i can go i can maximum go up to two right so it is nums of i this is, so we need to decide whether i have opted for b what I have opted earlier that is bigger or what is my if I opt for my current one that is bigger okay so on the basis of that whatever boundary it is so I'll choose my boundary boundary is nothing what is the maximum I can traverse okay let's uh, use this example suppose my current boundary is zero right I'll take maximum of my current boundary and I'll update my new boundary okay my current boundary is zero okay now my eighth position where i'm standing i'm standing at zero position only right and what is the maximum jump i can make i can make maximum jump of two so what will be the result of this so it will be two my new boundary is two right this is my new boundary right so i have updated as a new boundary now as a next step i'll go here so i'll calculate for this for three so now i'll calculate for three so it will be maximum of my current boundary which is two right plus what what is my current position it is one plus how far i can go i can go three so with this i can with my old boundary i can reach up to two but with my current boundary if i'll end up over here i can end up till four right so my current boundary is so i can go max up to four right so this is so i should take one from here to here this will make me from here to here right now since i have already reached my end of the end of uh, end of the length so i already won i already made the jump so i should return true right so let's use this algorithm for the different example okay now our second example is three two one zero four this is our nums of i and this is our indexes okay now i'll use the same algorithm max of b that is my boundary i plus nums of i right so i'll take my current boundary as zero as usual okay now i'll my updated boundary will be my current boundary is zero suppose i'm over here zero how far i can go that is my current position zero and zeroth index plus three is the utmost jump i can make so maximum of this is three so with this i can go up to here right now i'll have my for second position if i'll come over here my current boundary is b then now my index is one and how far i can go that is two so this is three right sorry this is three the maximum of three of three is three so this also will make me go till here now again we'll check with other one which is my current boundary is three my current index is two plus how far i can go i can go till one so this is also three maximum of three of three three so with this also we can go till three now b equal to maximum of my current boundary is three plus my current index is three plus my how far i can go i can go up to zero okay so this is three and three so till here i can go max up to three after that i cannot go i'm at three how far i can go i can go up to three so i can never reach over here so there is no chance i'll reach over here so i will return false for this okay hope you understood it let's write the code to make it more clearer okay thank you so now we have a good understanding of how our algorithm will work so let's write down the code so how we are going to write so 
like I said, we will traverse through the entire array. So I can traverse the entire array from i equal to zero, i less than. Mm. So in the algorithm, we talked about the boundary condition, right? So we'll take as a, uh, we'll, uh, we'll take it, uh, we'll take one variable as a boundary. Oh, I think. Okay. Let's uh, like an, in our example, we take it as a zero. So we'll take it as a zero. It should be less than equal to boundary, and then we'll do i plus plus. Okay. Now, what? Uh, how do we do? How do we do? do uh, how do we understand? Like our boundary will always be the maximum of my current boundary which I have, and i plus my current position plus what is the max i can go for right in each and every step i look for that and after every condition we'll check if my boundary is greater than that it has surpassed or equal to my last index which is now stopped beyond minus one right then i should return true in that case and false okay let's run our sample test cases yeah so it passed okay let's submit our code so it passed right so thank you hope you understood it we'll see you in the next video thank you